Okay. Who's that man right there? Who are you, sir? Introduce yourself to the world. It's your boy, <clears throat> Fast Money, aka Federal Fest, aka the CEO of Steel City Records. Pittsburgh 412 was happening. For sure. So, uh, a couple questions for you. Uh, what do you think about the state of hip hop? Right now in its current condition, what do you think? What I think about the current state of hip hop, mm, let's go deep in this one. See, me, I'm the type of person who pay homage. And I've been around, I've seen a lot, i heard a lot, i studied a lot, i watched a lot. And what I mean by that, when I first came and when I first was encountered with hip-hop, this was in 1985, I was listening to Rakim and Eric B. Check out, check out my melody. So, history. I got the rock with the pioneers, the rock hymns, the EPMDs, cool G raps, and I seen the state of hip hop where it went from the political consciousness where the music was about fighting for the struggle, fighting for the liberation of our people, also having fun with your kid and play with the dance and music, your Kwame with the polka dots. But back then, what was so unique about the state of hip-hop then was people had their own character. Heavy D, rest in peace, was the overweight lover. You know, he was the big fly nigga. Uh, Kwame was like the clown and had the polka dots and the, and the pompadour with the dye in there. Uh, kid and play with the dancing machines and the party animals and cool G rap took it to the streets and he rapped about uh, what went on in the streets and the struggle so I pretty much watched the whole transition from hip hop from the 90s uh, to the point when the west coast was doing a thing Dre, the chronic weed smoking thing came in over the laid back funkified gangster beats and you know I love that Spice One and MC8 to the whole Texas rap a lot the gangster nip you know the uh, terrorist the, the scar face gotta gotta definitely recognize my man face that's that's one of my top three rappers right there you know uh, face you know he just rapped about the real reality and the struggle in the texas streets uh the nwa's bringing in that political music fuck the police and the rebellious music but let you know how things took place in compton and, and what went on in their hood and so i i listened to all of that and i respected it ice t giving up game and you know his whole pimp thing and my oh man luke skywalker and the booty bouncing music you know what i'm saying i i came up on all that watched the transition from when big came in with the player music and uh Nas was giving you true hip-hop storytelling and, and, and real lyrical and paint pictures to jay coming in on that talking fly swag slick talking getting money music so now hip-hop excuse my phone that's my bugger me hip-hop took a turn and i'm not gonna say for the better because the way i'm feeling right now is is lacking substance there's a few people out there who still get it in who hold it down shots out to ti I like what you're doing player Shout out to Ludacris. Like how you get down, bro. Uh, shout out to Bun B. Like the way you do your thing. I'm not gonna say no names particularly because everybody have their own style of music or however they create it. But I feel like the true substance is missing and that's lyrics, creativity, uh, 
wordplay, uh, people being creative, rapping on unorthodox beats. Everybody don't need the same style of beat. You know, switch it up. Show us that you really can rap. Rap on something. It might be some acoustic drums and a kick and a snare. Let us really zone out to the lyrics and show that you controlling the song with your lyrics and the beat ain't controlling you. So anybody can get a pounding beat, come up with a catchy hook, talk slick, and the beat is gonna carry the song. So people are like, ooh, that's hard, but what makes it hard? Is it the beat or is it the lyrics and the overall song? Question mark, you figure that one out. But I feel like the state of hip hop uh, need to come back to more creativity. I feel like uh, it's oversaturated. A lot of people is doing it, but really in the way. Like don't have the talent to do it. And me as a CEO, I'm not gonna shoot you down or, or break your pride or, or kill your spirit when you're trying to do something that you believe you can do. But let's keep it realistic. If the fans say they ain't feeling you and you're not getting that following or you're not getting that good report back, then nine times out of ten you shouldn't do it no more. Like you're wasting money, you're wasting time. You're in the way. I think we should start a movement to bring the light to the real talent. Bring the light to the people who really have something to say. And that movement is going to be called Lyrical Guns. And I'm going to create a movement in Pittsburgh. I'm going to start here at home. And I'm going to take the top five to ten rappers that I think is talented. And who I know do good music. And we're going to do compilation mixtapes. We're going to put them on the internet for free for you to download. And we want the world to judge and let us know who they think got it and who don't got it. You see what I'm saying? And if I put some bullshit out, then you can discredit me. If I'm supposed to be stamped and approved, you can unstamp me. If I put a bullshit mixtape up on thatpip.com, it's going to be called Lyrical Guns. Steel City Records presents Lyrical Guns. And this CD will be done within the next two months. I'm going to handpick the artist. I want comments on there. I want comments like crazy. Comment till you can't comment no more. Let me know how you feel about the product I put out there. I want critique. Music's for free, what the fuck? All I'm asking you to do is just listen to me. You know what I'm saying? And my, and my people's gonna put in a hard earned time and energy to give you the lyrics that they feel that you wanna hear. So, Steel City Records, Fast Money, that's how I feel about the state of hip hop. Let's get back to the creativity. If you in the way, get out the way or you gonna get ran over. There's no more games from 2012 beyond. Like we coming, a bunch of mixtapes back to back. Shout out to Big Life. Follow my man at Big Life 412 on Twitter. Shout out to Shine Star. Follow my man at Shine Star. S H Y Y N S T A A R. Again, Shine Star. S H Y Y N. S T A A R on Twitter. Follow me at Fast Money 009. And we keep you updated on what we got going on. Live from Pittsburgh, Steel City Records. Oh, yeah, we got the studio downtown in the Diamond Building. Fifth Ave, 100 Fifth Ave, Suite 302. Uh, if you need to get some work, come holler at me. We'll, we'll get you right now. You know. Peace. Oh, couple of pennies on rap, Pete, Big Butter, Dom City, and Tizzy. Shout out to Joe Beach, Young Bro with B Twizzy, Hammer Man, Tommy Gun, Cine, G A N G. Better get your umbrella light. Farnsworth, Bentley, I'm the hip hop rain. Clipsburg, is you with me? Pistol Vania, full of secrets like.